Hello, welcome to. We haven't done this in so long. I don't. Know. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna say. I feel like it's been so long since I've done this. Okay. Okay. Hello, and welcome to Hello. our 2020 year in review video. Welcome. This is the first video we've done in a really long time. Like it's been over six months yep. since we've done a video just because we were so busy with life. Mm -hmm. Very busy year. Um, a lot of things happened. Yeah. But now I'm on mat leave. So I think I'll have more time to upload more videos. And yes, we're starting with this one. Our first video of 2021. It's our 2020 year in review. We did this last year, so we have the same questions as last year, and we're just gonna go through them and answer. Mm -hmm. So let's start with the first one. I'll, I'll read the first question and then you can read and we'll go back and forth. So what are you most grateful for this year? I wrote that I am most grateful for my critical thinking. Uh, this year was a lot, a lot went on in 2020 and I'm glad that I have developed critical thinking skills to form my own opinion and not just go along with what the mainstream says. Very good. I am grateful that the pregnancy has been going well Especially yeah. after that scare we had a month ago. Yeah. It was very scary. I had bleeding, but it was okay. Yeah, pregnancy is going very well. Baby was really active today. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. So, next question is, what is a new skill you learned this year? I can't say this. I told you that you're going to I didn't gonna know it was going to be a video. I... Okay. We did these questions yesterday, we were answers, and he wrote his answer. I was like, well, you can't, you're going to say that on camera? And you were like, yeah. No. <laughs> I didn't hear you. <laughs> okay, what is a new skill I learned this year? I learned how to renovate a condo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of home renovation <laughs> skills. Yeah, a lot of home renovation skills. That's for sure. Like, I'm so much more comfortable with doing work around uh, a building a home or whatever. Yeah, just like little little jobs around the house. Mm -hmm. And with tools. A new skill that I learned this year is calligraphy. I got a calligraphy book from Costco and I've been learning it and I like it. Great. Okay. What movie came out this year that you enjoyed? <laughs> we struggled hard with this one because one, you know, a lot of movies were postponed this year. And two, we just, didn't watch a lot of stuff this yeah, year. We've usually, just been too busy doing other things. Yeah, and usually we would like watch releases on, I don't know, pirate websites like Mira de Todo or something. And we didn't even do that this year. No, we haven't been, I don't know, watching a lot. Um, I did go and see After We Collided, which is the sequel to After, which is a romance. And I really liked that. So that's my answer. Yeah, what my favorite movie that came out this year, I really tried. I looked not like nothing. Nothing. Zero. But I'll give an honorable mention to a movie. My favorite movie of the year was um, this Ghibli movie. The what's the name? The one in the sky. The Castle in the Sky. Castle in the Sky. I really like the movie. That's your favorite movie that you watched this that year. That I watched this year, yeah. For the first time. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is a New Year's resolution you have? Okay, I just have eat something very simple. Eat less sweets. Is that meaning a lot of sweets? Eat less swat? It's too easy. It's just that the is first not the first thing is gonna be Okay. Uh, my New Year's resolution this year is take it day by day. I think being a new mom is gonna be overwhelming and I just need to think take things day by day and just take it easy, one day at a time. Um, next, what new technology came out this year? I wrote 
Oh yeah, the new <laughs> iPhone. Sure. Because like that was relative to us. You got the new iPhone. I did. Well, uh, a new technology was the new Apple chips for the Macs. That was really important. It was really important, I think. Uh, what was your all-time favorite moment this year? My all-time favorite moment was finding out that Sarah was pregnant. It's a great, great moment. And it's all on a recording. It's all on YouTube. Yeah. I don't think I've... I think it's still set up as private. I have to make that on private. What was your all-time favorite moment this year? I think I have this answer for something else as well, but maybe not. Um, telling people I'm pregnant. So, like, sharing that news. All, like, every time, every moment I told someone I was pregnant, that was really special and exciting. I liked that. Yeah. Always exciting. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite song this year? So, when we were answering this question, we were talking about how, like, we didn't really listen to a lot of music this year. Like, typically, I listen to audiobooks and podcasts. Uh, in my downtime. So my favorite song, like as a new release song this year that I liked that came out was the Harry Styles song. I don't know the title. Watermelon Sugar? Watermelon Sugar High? Yeah, I think it's Watermelon like Sugar. I like that. It's a good song. It's a great song. Yeah, I don't didn't have one favorite song. I didn't have one that I was like going back to over and over. So I didn't know what to say. The one that stood out for me was I Wish You Were Here by Incubus. Because mm -hmm. I listen to it a lot. I think I have it in my head that I listen to it a lot this year. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure it was high on my Spotify list. Yeah. Next. Next. What made you laugh the hardest this year? So, uh, we were playing, this time we were playing cards with Sarah's family. And one family member <laughs> ripped up the loud one. <laughs> Not the loudest, it was just the longest <laughs> And it's just, what was also funny about it is like, it was the longest part. It's like, it's like a motorcycle starting, it's like an engine starting. And then like, everyone ha acted like nobody, nothing happened. We just kept playing. And I was just laughing my ass off. Yeah, he was like a laughing attack, like he would not stop laughing. Yeah, because nobody reacted to it. It was just this long like, rip. Just like, what the hell? Nobody said anything. <laughs> My, what made me laugh the hardest this year is kind of a, like it, you had to be there moment and it's probably just cause like my family and my sister, you weren't there, but my family and I, me, my sister, my mom, my, my dad and my brother-in-law, we were <clears throat> driving over to pig to see the Christmas lights. And my dad was just like in a really crappy mood. He was really grumpy. And the only time throughout the drive when he was like nice and calm and not really saying anything was when he was drinking. Starbucks Frappuccino. So my sister and I started referring to it as his Baba, like his bottle. So we were teasing him saying like, you need another Baba. And cause after the drink was gone, he was Baba. all grumpy again. And anyway, <laughs> I was crying laughing. We were crying laughing. What one word would sum up this year for you? Definitely pregnancy. And that's a positive word to sum up 2020. One word that sum up this year for me is sheep. People are so, such sheep. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. It's all sheep all around us. And I think that's gonna come up again. Yeah. Okay, next question. What embarrassing thing happened to you this year? So I had a really big sleep on the ice. I was going to work and like there was some ice on the sidewalk right next to the entrance and I was just rushing in. So I stepped really hard and my feet just went up in the air, just <laughs> flying upwards and I hit myself really hard in my hip. Mm. And I was a little embarrassed, but not too much. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, it was actually hard for me to find something, like I don't get embarrassed easily. Uh, so what I wrote was, I got told off at work for talking too much. Yeah. So that was a little embarrassing, but I mean, I talk a lot. <laughs> You do. Uh, what is something hard you did this year? I wrote two things. <clears throat> so one, which is silly, but it's true, was giving up wine. Obviously, I'm pregnant and I can't drink and giving up wine. Not that it's been like hard, like I'm craving it and 
I'm going crazy without it, but I do miss it. Like wine was a big part of my life and I miss everything about it, like the food and drinking and tasting and the social aspect of it. And another hard thing, like the scariest thing, the hardest thing is when I went to the women's hospital, which you talked about before, but it's because I had bleeding. Luckily everything was okay, but that was really hard and difficult and scary to go through. That's really hard. Scariest moment of the year for sure. Mm -hmm. The hardest thing I did this year was renovating this entire condo. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of hard work, mm -hmm. a lot of time, dedication, learning. It's very hard. What was the best advice you received received this year? Uh, I don't know. I didn't know what to put for this question. Mm -hmm. I just remember something I read on Twitter, which is turn the TV off. Just, you don't need to listen to the news or hear anything. Just turn the TV off. Yeah, it's white noise. Mm -hmm. um, same, I, this was a hard one for me too. Like the best advice I received, I think, I don't know if like, I don't think this was actually said. I think I just like, I've interpreted a few different things people have said to get to this, but basically it's okay to be okay with being yourself. Like it's okay that I am me. <laughs> And that I like me the way that I am. What is something you did this year that you are proud of? I am proud of buying and renovating the condo and quitting my job, my job with the province and getting a job with in child welfare. Yeah, I'm also proud of just buying and renovating the condo. Like it's, it's a really big thing with it this year. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of big things this year. Uh, yeah. Next question. If you could, re could relive one day from the past year, which would it be and why? Mm. Well, I think the one that stands out the most is finding out that I was going to be a father. That I'm going to be a father. Yeah. I would, I have something different written, but I would say I would want to relive, not the one day, but every time I told someone I was pregnant, I want to relive that moment. Like that was just so fun telling people I'm pregnant. I loved it. So I'd like to relive that. I, what I wrote on the card was um, spending the day at the trailer with Carlos. Like, yeah, that was a great day. We, we went out, just you and I, a couple times over the summer. Yeah. Um, Remember the time what we saw that, uh, what was it, a groundhog? Big yeah. rat thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, that day? One of those days? Yeah, that time. Like, that, that was in August. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just, I don't know. It was just fun spending that time together. Yeah. I'd like to relive that. And we obviously can. <laughs> and will in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the new family mm -hmm. member. That's true. With what was the baby. best conversation you had this year? This, I don't like this question. It's such a weird question. Like, who could remember yeah. your best conversation the entire year? Um, so I wrote our conversation deciding to get pregnant. But also, um, like all the conversations that you and I have about politics and uh, economy and stuff like that, like I really value those conversations. Yeah, me too. I wrote the same thing. It's just really great conversations we had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next question, what are you most excited for in the upcoming year? Well, this one is an obvious one. Like it's just... Baby! Baby time. <laughs> yeah. Carlos or... I don't know. <laughs> or her. Or her. Uh, what was the best book you read this year? Uh, shoot, I can't remember the name of the author. You go first. I'm going to try to find this author's name. The best book I read this year was The Three Body Problem. It's a pretty cool, interesting book. By? Uh, by Xi Jin Yu. Oh, right, that science fiction book. Yeah, science fiction book by a Chinese author. It's pretty yeah. good. My favorite book uh, that I read this year was Homegoing by, uh, if I mispronounced the name, I'm sorry, Ya Gyasi. It's a book that follows um, it's an African family throughout different generations. It's really, really good. 
What is something you learned this year? Mm. Well, one thing I learned is that people are way more subservient than I thought. Yeah, I have that one too. Way that more. That people are sheep. That I understood understood it. I just what's the word? Understated it? Underestimated. Underestimated that so much. It's crazy. Like. Yeah, that was a big shock <clears throat> for the both of us this year. Is just how people really don't think for themselves. And they just yeah, are subservient, like you said. It's it's sad and it's frustrating. Yeah, like no willpower to like fight back at all. It's just yeah. going with it to like try to see the try to like they stay in the tunnel, trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel <laughs> by following whatever they tell them to and stay in that tunnel mm-hmm. instead of just breaking out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I also wrote fertility. I learned a lot about fertility this year because it's actually kind of, I think, sad is the right word, wrong, that as a 28 year old woman before this year, I really didn't know how fertility worked. Like, I think that's something that we should be taught. And maybe, maybe I was taught in high school and like, I just don't, I didn't retain that information. I, I just feel like this how a woman gets pregnant is something we should all know. It's something that we should be taught and understand. Um, what didn't you know? I didn't know that, like, the about the fertility window and how long the egg is there and how long the sperm could live inside. I'm sure someone should have me. told you that. I don't think they did. I mean, I'm not, I don't have the best memory in the world, but I don't think I knew that. And anyway, and I also started learning Portuguese. Good job. What big event made headlines this year in the news? Like, obviously, COVID-19. <laughs> Fuck this year. Yeah, I wrote down the BLM riots. Yeah. Or you could choose the election order. Yeah. Last one. What is something nice you did for someone this year? Yeah. I helped Dave and uh, Christian buy some Bitcoin. You set them up. Set them up. With their accounts, yeah. I wrote cards to my friends during the terrible, terrible times of COVID to tell them how much I love them and appreciate them and miss them. And I thought that was nice. It's very nice. Yeah. So that's it. That's our 2020 in review. So Are we going to be doing this every year? Why not? I'm asking. <laughs> Maybe. We're we'll see. Whole compendium of years in review that would be cool to leave for our grandchildren that would be cool <laughs> why not <laughs> Alrighty. well thanks for watching and see you in the next video Bye-bye. bye